Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben, and I got a box here that I got from Dell. This is something I bought the other day because I was interested in seeing what the state of AMD laptops are. And this is a Dell that uh, has the new FX9830P processor on board. It's a quad-core processor, and it also has an AMD GPU, namely the RX460, the mobile version. Uh, that one is also in the new MacBook Pro. The difference, though, between this and the MacBook Pro is that it's a lot less expensive. So I think I paid uh, $749 on sale. It normally goes for $799, so a, a lot less expensive than a MacBook would be, but of course, it won't be as pretty. So let's take a look and see what this looks like inside of the box. This is a 15-inch uh, laptop. It's an Inspiron uh, 5000. They have Intel versions of these and also a full line of AMD devices. I'll put a link to those uh, down below in the video description so you can find them uh, on Dell.com. So let's take this out of the box here, or out of the bag, and see what we got. And I'll probably uh, open it up as well so you can see what is inside. So it actually looks and feels a lot like the uh, 7000 that we just looked at. I think the display is also that uh, TN display. We'll take a look and I, uh, when I do the full review at lon.tv, so stay tuned for that. But this is the uh, laptop overall. It's big enough so you get a number pad on here, uh, trackpad. Everything actually feels a lot like the 7000 series that we looked at just recently. Uh, that 7000 that I'm talking about, you can see a video to that uh, link down below. Uh, that one is also about $800 and uh, has Intel hardware with an NVIDIA 1050 GPU. So we'll see how this stacks up to that one. So that's the hardware. We will take a look on our main review very shortly. Uh, of note, there is no Thunderbolt port on these. I don't think there is one on the, uh, the Intel version either. So you do, though, get a gigabit Ethernet, HDMI output, USB 3 here, a card reader. And on the other side, you've got two more USB 3s and a headset jack. Now, like all the other Dell gaming laptops we've looked at, there is just a single screw here keeping everything together, which is actually a good thing. It's very easy to get at uh, the inside here, and the best part is the screw stays with the little plate here, so you don't even lose it, which is really nice. You can flip it over and try to pop it out. It stays put. That is really cool. So inside, uh, we've got a uh, upgradable RAM area here. So right now, I believe this one has 12 gigabytes as configured. I'll double check that, but I think that's what I've got. If not, it's eight. Uh, and then we've got a, a M2 SATA slot over here, so you can pop in an M2 SATA drive if you wish. And then over here, you've got a regular SATA uh, hard drive connector, so you can plug in a regular drive. This one came configured with a one terabyte spinning drive at 5400 RPM, uh, but you can easily swap this out and get uh, something like this in there, which will give you an SSD in that same spot, which should improve performance and a, a 74 watt hour battery. I never expect really good battery life out of these things, but uh, generally they will get through a good part of the day if you're not gaming on it too heavily. So that is the hardware. We're going to do a full test on this on my main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, Brian Miller, Mr. Morse, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.